All right. Hello, Steve Araujo here. I want to talk about uh, one of my favorite uh, production basses made. This is the Vintage Modified Squire Jazz Bass, made by Fender. It is um, very much made to uh, mimic um, and look like the 70s style jazz basses. Um, aesthetically speaking, um, it is a natural finish. This actually has a maple body, which is really, really nice. A maple body, the black pickguard, the um, block inlays, which these are painted on, uh, so is a little binding, um, but again, it just adds to the aesthetics of it. The back, very, very nice. This one happens to be a two-piece body, maple, and then a uh, maple neck also. And then, uh, again, you have na maple fretboard. So, um, the base is very, very well constructed. It is definitely um, ready to be taken on a gig right out of the box. The only thing you need to do is just kind of set it up to your liking, um, slap some of your favorite strings on, which I've done to this, and you're good to go. Basically, I got it on one day, set it up, changed the strings, and have been playing it ever since. Now, this is my second one of these particular basses. Uh, the first one I actually ended up just selling to a friend of mine who needed a bass very badly. At the time, I had a bunch of basses, um, and I just missed the bass, so I uh, bought a second one. And uh, they are very consistent. Um, and another reason it's one of my favorites is just because it's so well made, well constructed, and it's so inexpensive. I mean, you can pick these up for somewhere around 300 bucks any time of the day, brand new. So, pretty amazing. Um, Pickup wise, uh, these pickups were, they say Seymour Duncan, so I think they were probably made by Seymour Duncan f up to Fender specs, so it's pretty nice. Pickups sound really good. The controls are traditional jazz bass controls. You have a um, knob right here for the front pickup, back pickup, or bridge pickup, and tone, passive tone. So um, I'm playing through my Little Mark head uh, set flat and an Aguilar GS-112 cabinet. So I'm trying to keep the tone as, as, uh, as true. So as much as I can, you know, going to the video camera and then going on up on YouTube or whatever. So uh, the hardware is top notch. I mean, it's, it, it really is a bass that's ready to be gigged right off of the bat. So um, with the tone set wide open, Obviously, this looking like a Marcus Miller bass, it really, um... wants to be slapped, so I don't know what that last little part was, little chords. Never mind that. Anyways, um, it definitely has a great sound that cuts through. The other thing I should mention, it being a 70s style jazz bass, um, in the 70s they changed the pickup spacing um, so that the bridge pickup would be closer to the bridge. This follows the 60s and the pickup spacing traditionally, uh, that, you, that you have traditionally on jazz basses, like even now, which is 3.6 inches as opposed to 4 inches. So, it's almost, you get the best of both worlds. Um, the bass really does cut through, even on finger style stuff with everything wide open. That's everything wide open. I mean, a lot of times when I play this, I will back off of the uh, tone, or back off of the passive tone just a bit to darken it up a little bit. So. tone just a little bit. Um, and then you definitely get, if you back off of the neck pickup, you get that that Jocko-ish. That is, if you can play 
like Jocko, and I definitely cannot. So, anyways, vintage modified jazz bass by Squire by Fender. So, um, the hardware, I should say, too, is it's it's inexpensive, but it just works. I never have to. I'm never slipping out of tune on gigs. I mean, it really holds its tune as good as any American made bass or American made jazz bass. So. Uh, again, just a very, very incredibly uh, well-made instrument, well thought out. Aesthetically, looks killer, looks really great. I mean, you, I definitely fool some people sometimes. They think it's a 70s jazz bass, and it's a squire, and it says it right there. So, anyways, check it out. Here's the body. The headstock. The back. Back of the neck. And I should say also, it does... In the 70s, they also made the neck a little skinnier and thinner, and it really takes that profile, that neck profile. So it's a very comfortable, uh, comfortable instrument to play. So. Vintage Modified Squire Jazz Bass.